So for me, choosing the right meat for a Massaman curry is super important. Most of the time it's done with chicken, sometimes it's done with lamb. I use a high prime tenderloin meat, well aged even better. These are called Thai eggplants. They're bitter, they're tart, they belong in a good Thai curry. These, however, are Japanese eggplants. I know it says Chinese here, but they're Japanese eggplants. This is meat, and this is basil. They're actually sisters. This is activating, this is deactivating. So one is yin and one is yang. It's actually this way around. Two of the main ingredients to a Massaman curry is the peanuts, which I have a hard time not to mispronounce, and the star anus. Am I saying that correctly? A traditional Massaman curry would have potatoes in it, but I recommend you skip it and actually use a butternut squash. If you want to learn about the health benefits of butternut squash, especially if you have diabetes, look up the video that I made about this little baby here. And then lots of onions. This is an assembly of all your ingredients, herbs, spices, onions, Thai eggplant, chilies, tomato paste, peanuts, your butternut squash, lots of good stuff. Let's get it all prepared. Maison Plus. And through the magic of social media, look, our Massaman curry is ready to go into the pot. First we simmer the Thai eggplant, the butternut squash, the onions and the chili. Then we add ginger, lemongrass, garlic and this sauce and our herbs and spices. After about 20 minutes, we're gonna add a dash of rice vinegar. This Massaman curry is an absolutely delicious experience. After you add the coconut cream, be careful, turn the heat down so it doesn't break or split. Add your protein to it and then serve it in a rice ring. Enjoy! Let me know what you think about this recipe.